What is your most important digital device? Your laptop? Your iPad? Your smartphone? Answer, none of the above. Your most important device is the one between your ears. It's made of neurons, not silicon. And you can't get an upgrade from Apple. But your mind does have things in common with your external devices. It has an on-off button. You need to learn how to use it. Your mind's on-off button is called attention. It's your searchlight on reality. And it has a built-in dimmer. You can raise the intensity of the light or lower it. You can be in high focus, or you can dim the light and drift passively wherever the Facebook feed takes you. It's your choice. Thinking is a skill. We're not born with the ability to put two and two together. We're not born with the ability to form sentences. We're not born knowing how to drive a car. But here's the cool part. There's no upward limit on what we can learn and what we can do in our lives with ever-growing knowledge. In addition to the skill of thinking, we need a commitment to objectivity, a commitment to accept reality, even when we don't like it, to man up, to face facts. What do I mean by this? Your car breaks down on a highway at night. Don't keep wishing it had not happened. Deal with it. The man or woman of your dreams doesn't return your feelings. Accept the fact, feel the pain, move on. Don't keep fooling yourself. Being objective means not faking reality through wishful thinking, emotional bias, or misrepresentation. All of these things cut you off from seeing the world as it is. Your mind is an incredibly complex and valuable tool. Faking reality is like dumping coffee on your keypad. You can evade reality, that's your choice, but you can't avoid the consequences. Reality always bats last. A rational process is a moral process, wrote Ayn Rand and Atlas Shrugged. If devotion to truth is the hallmark of morality, then there is no greater, nobler, more heroic form of devotion than the act of a man who assumes the responsibility of thinking. A moral issue, but not a duty. It's a value, a source of joy. Think of the radiant look of an infant who learned something new. That light bulb look can be a lifelong experience. Your mind's eye is your I. It's what you refer to when you say, I know, I want, I love, value it, protect it, enjoy it.